Hi everybody, thank you for visiting my channel. I'm back with another favorites video. I haven't done one in a while. So I thought um, I've got a bunch of items. It was a good time to do one. I've got a basket of things here. I ordered a new makeup brush. This is by Echo Tools and I've been looking for a stippling brush because especially for putting on blush because I use powder blush mostly and I'm starting to experiment with also cream blushes and they, they tend to go on stronger than I want right away and then I have a hard time blending it out. So I heard of something called a stippling brush but some of them were like $40 and I thought if it doesn't work I don't want to spend $40 and I, even if it works I'd hate to spend that much if I didn't have to. And I think this was under $8 or something. And what a stippling brush is, um, let me show you up closer. Can you see it has bristles that some are tall and some are short. So it deposits the, the makeup product, whether you use it for powder or for blush or for cream foundations even, I think some people use them. It distributes, distributes it in a soft way, so you can build it, build it, build it. It worked great. I'm thrilled with this brush. I bought two, and I'm so glad I did. I took a chance. Super soft. It is um, not animal fur, which makes me happy. This is bamboo and recycled materials. So that's a great find. On the makeup front, another new find that's both a tool and a makeup is this Zuzu Cream Brow Pencil. Now, those of you who've been following me know that I don't tend to fill in my eyebrows. They're kind of scraggly and sparse, but I leave them be because I really, I prefer a natural look, even if that natural look isn't perfect. Um, I have tried to find brow pencils or powders that work and none of them made me happy. Um, last winter, fall, winter, I think you all would have seen some of my brows filled in for special occasions. I will do it, you know, for nighttime if I'm going out to dinner and it's, you know, it's going to be darker so you can't really tell that I'm wearing brow, you know, makeup or if it's a special event during the day. This is the first one I found that looks even in daylight, I looked in the window and it looks pretty darn good. I mean, you do look closely, you can see, oh, she has filled it in. But it's the best one I've found and I really like the texture because it's not, some of them are really waxy, I guess, so it's, they, it's hard to get them on to your skin. Some of them are just too dark, they, they go on dark immediately. This one goes on lightly so you can build it. The other thing is great, it comes with this brush. I think they call it a spoolie. Let me show you. So it's a nice brush on one side. And then on the other side, the color I got was russet. And this is what it looks like. Let me swatch it for you. I think that would probably be helpful. Okay, so that's that. Zuzu, um, Zuzu Lux and Gabrielle are both the same company and they're a natural and organic brand which is why I use them. Their ingredients are really nice. Um, I'll put a link, I'll put a link down below to everything I'm going to talk about today. But the, the makeup I use is either mostly organic or natural and organic just because I'm trying to put only healthy products on my skin since our skin absorbs up to 100% of what we put on it. So that's the eyebrow pencil. Really happy with that. I'm going to show you two lipsticks. I'm wearing one of them. It's by 100% Pure. And this is the, the cute package. I think they call that a bullet. so pretty and let's see what is it called it's their well all their makeup is fruit pigmented which is one reason why I love the brand absolutely love the brand and this color is peach I'm trying to remember what this 
style, what kind of, well it doesn't say. I'll put a link below, um, but let me show you the color. So this is what I'm wearing. You can see I've not made it as dark as you can. Let me swatch it. I'm going to swatch, try to swatch it correctly this time so you guys can actually see it. Beautiful color. Uh, definitely peach. <laughs> That's why it's called peach. And the formula is creamy. It stays creamy. Now this is the first time I've worn it so I don't know how long. Most of the time I find I want to refresh my lipsticks after about two hours but um, this one I have not worn before so I don't know. To make it a little bit less intense. I started with my organic shea butter underneath and then I applied this over top. It has no toxins uh, and the reason I'm talking about this one is because the foundation I'm wearing is 100% pure, the mascara I'm wearing is 100% pure, and it has no toxins. It's 100% natural. It's 100% fruit pigmented. It's cruelty free, 100%, no sulfates no petrochemicals, no parabens, no phthalates, no artificial preservatives. And the other thing is 100% Pure gave me a special code for my followers and subscribers and viewers and readers. It's good until September 30th. So, and you get 15% off if you use my code and I'll put what I'll do is I'll put the link to my blog down below and then I'll put the special link to the site where you'll put in the code which I'll put down on my blog too, um, I guess at checkout. So remember 15% off if you use my special code and I'll put the link on my blog and the link to my blog will be down below and that is good until midnight on September 30th. So if you've been wanting to try out any 100% pure makeup. This is a great opportunity because 15% you'll save a whopping amount of money. All right, another lipstick from 100% pure. I don't know if I've worn this in a blog post or YouTube video yet. I, I have, but I'm not sure if I've posted it. and it's called Fruit Pigmented Pomegranate Oil Anti-Aging Lipstick and the color is Hibiscus. This formula is creamy. Um, I've got other colors in this formula. It's creamy and uh, great color really intense color that you can though build so you can start light and build it up and the best way I found to do that is to start with a base of shea yeah, butter. That's okay. the makeup. Um, why don't I show you the clothing. Okay let me put the makeup down hold on. The first shirt I want to show you is the one I'm wearing. It is a plaid flannel and the colors are peach kind of off-white or ivory and it's either black or navy. I haven't decided. I think maybe it's maybe it's both. Maybe gray and navy. I can't really tell but it'll blend with either one. Um, so it's even though it's flannel it's a thin or thinner weight and so I can wear it year-round here in Naples little, and I'll stand up and at least you can see it, what it looks like. So, really cute. Button up, very classic plaid 
is always in style, flannel is always in style, and it's just, it's a soft, comfortable, cute blouse. I like it because it's also slimmer cut, so it's not boxy. So it looks great with jeans, it'll look good with a pencil skirt, you know, if you want to dress down a pencil skirt. It's cute with that and pumps. So it's good for dressing down dressier items, um, ex you know, other separates, or just going full out casual. So another great classic is this blouse, which I have been eyeing for, I don't know, six months. <laughs> And I finally got it because it was, um, it's at J. Crew and it's still there and I, it may still be on sale. There may be something going on over there. Um, it's such a beautiful blouse. It's 100% cotton, I think. 100% cotton, yes. So the other great thing of this shirt is if you're tall, it comes in tall, regular, or petite also. I got the tall uh, because my torso is tall. I got the too tall, but here's what I love. It's got this cute ruffle around the neck, a very subtle, subtle ruffle. So it's very feminine, even though it's a masculine button-up shirt, it's got this adorable feminine ruffle that's very subtle and uh, on the sleeves as well. Just a great blouse. Again, this can go pencil skirt to jeans. Um, even with shorts and and hiking boots, I get that would be a way to sort of dress up your hiking boots and shorts. But it's not super dressy because it's very subtle um, ruffle. Let's see. We'll go to shoes. No, we'll go what's on top of the shoes stack, and it's this necklace. Now this necklace, um, I'll talk about this holder next. But I have, I put my statement necklaces in these kinds of holders. This is from Ann Taylor. This look of putting tortoise with rhinestones is really popular. They've been doing it all season, um, all last winter, I think is when I first started seeing it. I don't know that it's still available there because I got it about two months ago on sale, but the reason I'm still showing it to you is because this sort of look is definitely available. And I'll put links down below to several that are very pretty. I love the mixture of the casual tortoise, it's faux tortoise, with the dressy rhinestone. So you can wear this with jeans and a t-shirt, or you can wear it with uh, a simple black cashmere crew neck sweater and uh, ivory pants or black pants or it really can go a lot of different ways. It's such a fun look and a real popular look to do it with this kind of a statement necklace is a button up shirt with a, a crew neck pullover and jeans and then you just let this show below the, um, you know, the collar. Such a pretty look and very classic but a new way of presenting a classic in that, you know, our grandmothers would have never worn rhinestones during the day. Um, but we do today because it's fun. Since I'm showing you this container or whatever you call it, folder, I want to talk to you about that because it's the handiest thing. My sister-in-law gave me two of these years ago and when I got this necklace, I thought I need somewhere to put it to keep it from getting kinked because those big circles were sometimes getting kinked when I would just put them in a bag. And so I put them in this and I thought, where do you get these? Because I need more of these. And I found them online, just like this in different sizes. This is black with uh, like a pearl colored interior but I found them also in white and I ordered two and these are a little bit, comes in these white boxes like this. So nice, nice presentation if you want to give them as a cute gift, you know, a useful gift in plastic. And then here it is. It looks like leather, but it's not. It's very well done. And this one, I chose the white with the white interior. So what you do is you just, unsnap the snaps here. You put your necklace in and then you snap it back up and it keeps it safe and secure and stored away. Shoe 
that I got on sale and is still available is you've seen me wear the nude version. It comes in um, this brand Trotters. They really do a good job with their shoes. Comes with each shoe is in its own little shoe bag, shoe dust bag. And these I wore in my post where I'm wearing my khaki um, knife pleat skirt. Still got the stuffing. Such a pretty shoe. Now I wear these year round here in Naples, even though you know they're cork wedges. Um, they're so comfortable. They're really comfortable. I'm not good in high heels. I do not walk well in high heels. These are so easy. And the one reason I love the Trotters brand is it comes in narrows. I have a really narrow foot and it comes in narrow, medium, and I think also wide. Um, I bought this color, the nude. Let me show you up close. And I also got it in black. So I'll show you the black. And I think it comes in pewter. It comes in some fabrics, cute, those are more summery. But what I was going to say, even up north, I would wear these through the fall until, you know, you start getting snow. But because I think they're great transitional shoe. But here's the black patent. All of them are patent except for the fabric one. And the uh, pewter one is metallic. So that's the black. Now, the thing about wedges that I didn't understand until I ra actually wore one is they don't act like heels. They, at least not the regular heel, they, they give you more cushioning and more support. And because it's, ha it's got a little bit of a lift up in the front, also it doesn't feel as high when you're walking on them. So that's why I like wedges. Let's move on to um, out of the fashion category to self-care beauty. So I bought this for my face and love it. Uh, if, if it didn't have the lavender, I would be wearing this as my facial moisturizer. But it's scented enough with the lavender that it's too strong for me for my face. So I've used it on my hands wonderful moisturizer. I'm telling you, it left my face so nourished and soft, but that may be why they say hands and body because of the um, scent. So it's a scented, definitely a scented product, but you know, the scent eventually does fade. So you could wear this on your body and, and also wear um, a perfume, but I am thrilled to find this. No, I do fine with a mixture of coconut oil and shea butter on my hands most of the time, but um, my hands are really dry and cracking in places because I was helping a family mem member with a big move the last couple of weeks. In fact, that, that's why I haven't been online as much or on my blog because I've been doing that. And so washing my hands so much, my hands dried out and I needed a stronger moisturizer and this is it. So I really can't recommend this enough. But if you are sensitive to smell, the scent may be a bit strong for you. If you use it on your neck, I would say use it on your you know, arms, legs, but not from here up. If scents are fine with you, then you probably find here down. Maybe even on your face, I don't know. But it's that is a good, good moisturizer. While I'm over here, I want to show you a home decor item I ordered from online. This is known, it has two pronunciations, cash po is the French or cash pot is the British. And I, I wanted to know what that stood for. So I looked it up. So I have a little note in here. The French translation of cash po, which is C-A-C-H-E-P-O-T, is pot hider. The British definition is it's an ornamental container for a flower pot. 
Well, I was debating whether I wanted to use this for my orchids or I thought maybe I want to use this for uh, a notepads and pens and pencils because I'm always looking for a notepad and paper or note, notepad and pen. It also came in pink, pink and white, and that may be the only two colors. But also I think they had in stripes. I'll, I'll put the link below. Just such a pretty, what it is, it's tin or metal. It's a metal uh, pot that's hand painted. So cute. Back to accessories. Um, we're getting to near the end, but I saved a lot of money. I've been looking for a pink bag for, is it two years or a year? A friend of mine, close friend of mine, the one that you often see her hands in the vlogs when we go out to lunch, but I say that this is the friend who doesn't like to be on camera. Well, she bought a pink Kate Spade bag. It's either a summer a year ago or the two years ago, which I loved immediately. And it was a top handle bag, structured. And she said, feel free to buy it too. Don't worry, you know, if you want it, she doesn't mind if I copy her, which is so nice and so sweet of her. But I had already done that on one of her other bags and um, like a year or two before, and I hate to keep doing that, but she's got such great taste. So I decided not to buy that bag, but I'd wait and look, because she did put in my head the idea of a pastel, soft pastel pink bag. Never found one. I've been eyeing the light oak bags of Tory Burch, their totes, and I will put a picture in here um, in the video, because I don't have one on hand. It looks like it may run pink, but I can't tell because I've never seen one in real life. So I've been debating getting that one, but then I saw this online. And this is Kate Spade. And as you can see, I just got it. Let me hide that. And it's a tote. And this was definitely pink. And I love the idea of a tote. I just that's what I decided to do was to not get the the top handle closed zipper bag structured. I have enough of those bags so I thought I really am uh, needing, wanting, do I really need? No, but wanting a tote because it can go casual, more casual, but this one because it's Safiano leather can also go with a dress. Now, would I use this in the winter? Here, yes even up north. I would wear this with ivory. I would wear this with black um, navy. If I wanted to bring in, it acts similar to the way an ivory would. Ooh, we've got thunder. It looks like we're going to get some rain. Now, here's the fun thing about this bag. I'll, I'll show you the inside in a minute, but here's the other side. This is where the logo is, and it says, skirt the rules. Uh, a little bag charm that goes right on the bag. I'm not gonna take the time to put it on because it'll take a while, but there's the bag charm. It's a cute little hula girl. So I will show you the inside of the bag. Let me take out what I've got inside and I'm gonna talk about that in a moment. This great thing, as you can see, it's a deep, bag, but there's not a lot is hidden. There is no closure at the top. You do want to make sure you've got your thing sort of organized in something like this, I would think, uh, or in zipper pouches. If you don't care, I guess it doesn't matter, but uh, it does have this one zippered compartment. I love the bright, bright pink interior. And I like that I can put this against me, you know, carry it like over the shoulder. It works over the shoulder. Or I can wear it in the crook of my arm and put this part towards my body if I don't want to show that. So it can be a more subdued bag if I wanted to. Now, the insert, this bag organizer, 
I found this about five, four months ago, and this thing I am completely hooked on. Now, I have it filled to the gills. It came in navy, gray, black, I think hot pink, maybe purple, some other colors too, I think. And it's just a terrific way to organize yourself. I put this in my Longchamp totes. Any bag that has a uh, floppy bottom, this gives it a nice structured look. It gives structure to the sides of the bag also. Has these little handles so you can quickly pull it in and out of your bags and change up your bags. So let me take you on a tour of this thing. It's got these zippers that run the full length. Let me open one for you. Let me show you how deep these things are. They go all the way one on both sides on the top, plus on both sides it has both these pockets here, here, and also these netting pockets. So if you want to put something you want to be able to see on both sides. The other thing it has, I have it filled full, but if you don't want it to be this full, you don't have this many items, it has the snaps here so you can snap it together and make it thinner if you've got a thinner bag. But look how much it holds. I've got my Kate Spade glasses. Don't they have cute, cute um, glasses cases? <laughs> I've got my wallet. I've got my makeup bag, which actually has everything but makeup. I have practically everything I need in there. I have my um, agenda. I love this agenda. I love the color. And I have my, I keep this in there, I keep my cell phone in there, it's right over there right now, but that's what I put my cell phone in. So all of that fit in this. This is a terrific, terrific um, item. I can't remember the brand name, but it doesn't say, but I will put a link down below. And we are almost finished. I've got one item left, and that is this snack. I found these at Whole Foods just a couple of days ago, not a couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago, and I honestly, I don't like mango. We, we have mango trees here. My parents used to have a mango tree at their house, and I've never really been a fan. I don't hate it, but I, I wouldn't seek it out and buy it, but I had been reading about how healthy mango is for you, and I saw these dried, sliced mango packets and I thought I'll try it. Oh my gosh are these terrific. I'm not going to eat one right now because I, well maybe I, I'm, I'm going to film a video right after this so I don't want to have mango in my teeth. But here's what they look like. They rip really easily so they're easy to eat. They don't taste like mango. They're a little bit more um, sharp like, like sour, sweet and sour which is why I like them. The other thing is they're really chewy. I will put a link below if you don't have a Whole Foods near you. Like I said, I got this at our local Whole Foods. It's a 365 Everyday Value brand. Uh, and I'll see if they have this one online too. But it is really delicious and great snack and it's healthy. So that's it. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.